Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I am going to be talking about my emergency fund. If you are new here, I am following the Dave Ramsey baby steps. I completed baby step number one, which was to save $1,000, which was a baby emergency fund. I completed baby step number two, which was to pay off all of my debt. And now I am on baby step number three, which is to save an emergency fund. So I am going to be going over a bare bones budget with you and we'll see how much I need to survive for one month, three months, six months, nine months, and 12 months. I haven't really decided just yet how much of an emergency fund or how many months I want to save. So I thought we could go through the numbers together and um, hopefully give me an idea of what that total amount is going to look like. So I have scaled back my budget. I have removed all the non-essentials like Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, um, lawn care, all of the things that I don't absolutely have to have in order to survive. So um, let's start with my rent. Rent is a necessity. I need to have a place to live. My rent is $500 per month. So I know I will need to have that every month if I were to lose my job. Then we have the electricity and that runs around 150 for the month. The water bill is right around 30. The internet is a necessity. If I'm going to be looking for a job, then I will need internet to be able to apply for jobs and search for them online. The internet is about $100 a month. Then we have the trash bill, which is $50 per month. My renter's insurance is $50 a month. Car insurance is right around $70 per month. Then I have my cell phone, and right now it's around $43 a month. Now, if I needed to, I could get that down even more. I have a debt, like a 10 gig uh, data plan. I do not need that much, so I think I could probably get that down closer to maybe between $20 and $30 if I absolutely had to. Then I have medical, so I don't need to go to the doctor every single month, but I do have monthly prescriptions that run about $25 a month. So we'll go ahead and we'll budget $30. Copays for doctor visits are $30 per month, or I'm sorry, um, copays for doctor visits are $30 for one visit. And I'll probably need to go to the doctor on occasion um, in order for them to refill my medication. So that would give me maybe two visits uh, for the year. Then we have food. So food is probably one of those categories that you have the most wiggle room. I can change the way that I'm eating. My daughter can change the way that she is eating. And we could really reduce our grocery budget significantly. Right now, we are spending about $120 per week on food. And I really think that if I were to lose my job and had to live off of savings, I think that we could probably um, get down to about $75 per week. So that would be about $300 for the month, right? 75 times four, yeah, 300 for the month. And if we had to, I could probably get it down a heck of a lot more than that. But $300 is definitely doable. Then we have household expenses, and right now we are spending about $80 on household supplies. We could do away with things like paper plates or uh, paper napkins, paper towels, those kinds of things we could eliminate from our budget. 
So uh, we could, you know, get our household down to just uh, like dishwashing liquid and soap for our clothes, toilet paper, that kind of good stuff, which I think we could get by on about $40 a month if we had to. Then I have my fur babies category, which I have, um, I have that down to a science. It is $80 a month and I don't know that I could get that down any more than it already is. Gas for my car, um, right now I am setting aside $20 per week. If I was having to uh, do any interviewing and needed to drive into town for interviews, I think I probably would want to stick with uh, $30 a week. That's how much it would take to fill up my tank. And so that would run right at $120 for the month. So this is a bare bones budget. It um, is not supposed to be exorbitant. It is supposed to be what I absolutely have to have to live and nothing more because it is temporary, right? I mean, eventually I would find another job and I would have income again and I could add back all of the things that I removed. So this is just to get me by in between jobs. So let's go ahead and add this up to see how much I would need for one month. So we've got rent is 500, electricity is 150, water is 30, internet is 100, trash is 50, renter's insurance is 50, car insurance is 70, cell phone 43, Medical is 30, 300 for food, 40 for household, 80 for fur babies, and $120 for gas is $1,563 per month. So let's see what it would be for three months. So to cover three months in case of a job loss would be $4,689. And then let's multiply that by two to see what it would be for six months. And that is $9,378. And then let's see what nine months is looking like. So 1563 times nine is $14,067. And last is 12 months. So 1563 times 12 is $18,756. Which is really interesting because when I think about how much I would need to earn after taxes, after deductions, all that kind of good stuff, um, if I had no other option but to find a job paying, I don't know, let's say 25000 a year or so, I could make it. If I absolutely had to, I could definitely do it. So this is an eye-opening number because I really don't need a lot uh, to get by and that is definitely reflected in the bare bones budget. Now, um, so I think that I am still kind of on the fence about, you know, what, how many months I want to save. I think I'm just going to continue to save my money and when I get to a comfortable number, I think I will know it. So let me know down in the comments below if uh, you are also following the Dave Ramsey baby steps, or even if you're not, um, how much of an emergency fund are you wanting to save? Or if you're not comfortable telling us the number, maybe you can tell me down below, you know, how many months worth of expenses you would like to save. I think I'm definitely 
right hovering maybe around the six month mark. Um, when I lost my job uh, before, it took me about six months to find another job. And with the economy the way it is now, I don't expect that that would be any better. So I think I'm probably, you know, would be comfortable between six and nine months. 12 is probably a little bit more than I would need, but six to nine months is probably about right. Anyway, that is everything, guys. This is my uh, emergency fund, my bare bones budget. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.